That's the inside of my Shigu G90. Conditions on HF are not great this morning, so I thought I might play around with this. I'm going to turn the power off and uh, see if I can't take that top board off. Look underneath at the uh, lower board. Okay, to remove the top board, you have two of these little mini coax type connectors. They just pop off these connector tabs. Uh, one of these lines is taped. Taped under the tape, you have four screws near the corners with washers. So don't lose the washers in there. And then you have to remove the front panel right here. You have to remove the front panel with four screws because this is going to slide out of the front. And then this ribbon cable comes out of this connector by popping this black tab up. So you, you would just take your fingernail or whatever and pop that uh, black tab up and then the ribbon cable slides right out. And then this board can come out probably. the bottom board. Alright, this is the lower board. Looks like it has the antenna tuner circuit, the low pass filters, the final amplifier, um, probably pre-amplifier, and that's also your uh, 12 volt power input there. And then this is the other side of the upper board. That big hole is where the uh, bottom of the speaker comes through. Uh, not a lot there other than the traces and the connectors for the back. So, apologize for the lighting. I wasn't really planning on doing a video today. I'll get it back together. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Okay. The front face plate's back on. I'm going to reconnect the speaker. And then uh, connect power to it and see if it still works. Let's see what happens. Looks like I didn't wreck it. Yeah, thanks for watching.